How's it going, people? It is Liam Caddison here, and we're reacting to The Good Place as we get into episode number 11 of season three. We have two episodes left of this season, um, and yeah, then we're going to be making our way onto the final season for The Good Place, and uh, I'm already making plans for what will uh, take over from The Good Place once we do sadly come to the conclusion uh, this time next season, I guess, but we won't um, delve into that troublesome thought um as of this moment we are still focusing on season three um and honestly i still feel like um with the fact that i did mention how season two and season one were very very close in terms of what would i i guess be my preference uh i still feel like season two and season ones are still my favorites with season three uh coming in third but this season has still been bloody fantastic don't get me wrong um especially with how i guess expanded it has has felt especially with the intention for i guess the soul squad to save as many souls to get them into the good place all for hope to kick us in the stomach with the fact that nobody has been sent to the good place within the past 500 years and um we had theories being debunked in the last episode with the idea that bad place was uh, preventing people from heading into the good place uh, it was revealed that basically the good place has been falling behind with the times as the world has evolved um with people they can still do um nice generous things but there's also consequences to certain people's actions and thus um it creates that negative impact and thus prevents them from going into the good place so um yeah there's the the idea that there's this complicated situation um applied to the human race and that prevents them from going into the good place is a very very interesting insight and a very logical and more um i don't know rational reasoning than say hey the bad place are sabotaging people from going into the good place it was a idea that i really really uh, appreciated so much and um yeah i'm looking forward to seeing if we can try to resolve this of course michael and co they're heading to an ihop not that i hope of course but um yeah it will be very very interesting to see uh how we do uh try to rectify this complication um if we can that is so yeah but um yeah with that said let's get into episode number 11 of season three for the good place let's go it's not the place you're thinking of this is the interdimensional hole of pancakes it's the crossroads Ooh. of all dimensions like grand central station but space and time if you eat oh my you will literally explode yeah i know it's i hop brilliant <laughs> the okay. now watch your step hey so mind the gap yeah so i don't want to go in there i get that <laughs> oh poor cheaty options <laughs> just shove him in one. yeah <laughs> cruel let me turn you into a marble do you want to try being boyfriend girlfriend? Oh, girl, Jason! But yes, I'd very much like to go on a date with you somewhere sometime. Ah, yes! Here, awesome! Which is nowhere at all the times. So. I mean, this would be a pretty <laughs> unique first date, right? Hi! Butthead! You lie to my face? Disrespect my order? And I promise no more rule breaking. Oh, yeah, really cool. Because it kind of <laughs> looks like you stole a book from a cat! No more rule breaking from here. Now. Oh. Hello, Chief. Oh, I love that is oh my god, she's free. still hitting on him. Out here with old Blondie, you know who to call. This <laughs> Sorry. Watch pillow. I mean, this guy chose this tomato. Those are the consequences. You don't yeah, want but the consequences. He, he doesn't go insightful like this. What else you got? Um, Plus, he doesn't know he's I'll going to be damned because of the uh, skewed system. Michael, what what are you doing? Back. Of a non-fried vegetable is a felony in Jacksonville. The point is, you can't judge humans because you don't know what we go through. Jason, your honor, did Jason right. just get it very insightful? Really because they don't. Until I went to Earth. Maybe you should give it a shot. If you still don't see things our way, Jason's we'll just you can, just solved you know, our dilemma. Which led me to a porn site that was for people with a sunburn fetish. Or... 
Oh. I never recovered. Right. That's problem so people number just, one. Life is chaotic and you know, messy Google's and unpredictable. Some weird shit. Problem number two. Even if you do somehow manage to make good decisions, you still lose points because of the unintended you're making consequences. Yeah, thousands of other bad choices. Everywhere. Like, there's this chick I obsessed over every choice, but that was also bad, and I still got sent to the bad Depriving place. people. So I'm problem number three. Oh, no, you are nobody's <laughs> problem, sweetheart. Oh, fuck. Ellen has got a fight. <laughs> Turtle makes a bet with Ronda Rousey, and if she loses, why did they help each other in ways they had never helped anyone on Earth? I don't know. He makes a good point. Maybe it's a fluke. Plus, you have zero proof they did get better. You didn't keep track of their points. That's it. I know what we have to do. Oh, he forgot we're still in the IHOP. Anybody oh. Got eyes on <laughs> Reality is falling onto each other like thin sheets of metal forming. Cheaty dowsies all. A single blade. Yeah, yeah, the time knife. We've all seen it. Let's get back on track, bud. No, oh, okay, sure. Holy sh. What I was saying um, before, you know, I saw the time knife? <laughs> is this. And the four of us becoming better people could be a fluke. So let's repeat the experiment. It's what Simone taught us about data collection. But what Try about different people? See if you get the same results. Of course, I build a new. You can't rely on these people because that would be a bit people, cheap. Tell them they're in the good place. Create challenges for them. Track their progress. I wouldn't allow it to be built in the good place. That's for sure. And I doubt you'd want to come back to my neck of the woods. Ooh, I have an idea. Media place? Yes. Hi, Mindy. We need not to so use your good. Not so bad. <laughs> I made him, so he's more like my son. Although I did make him because I was jealous of you and Tahani, so he's I mean, that's a bit my weird. rebound booty call. So he's your son rebound booty call. Fine, that's weird. Put labels on it. I guess he's my son rebound booty call. But he doesn't mean anything to me. She found a plunger sticking out of the ground behind our house, and every time she hits it, I pass out. When I come to, I'm a little bit smarter and a little bit better. Not to brag. So kind of like how Janet keeps evolving. It's so oh, and mostly functional. How many times has Mindy he keeps, rebooted you? I don't know. Half a million. What? She reboots me a lot. Gets to choose the four new humans, but they have to be the same general level of badness as the original four. All right. Ah. No serial killers. No fat. dictators. No one who managed a boy band. Michael <laughs> will not get the files in advance, so he does not have forever to plan, but he can... We can't have that. I say we get them from the good place. Over my dead skin suit. Well, what other that could be arranged. do we have? Would anybody like a medium snack? I myself will be enjoying another classy oh. routine. Don't mind if I do. Oh. I can make the people. Just like I made Derek. Yeah. Sure? Yes, as we learn more about them. Now, when you say, um... Some ideas? I have 11 trillion ideas. Yes. I'm so glad you're here, Jenna. Me too. Oh. Right, so, uh, what's your first basic idea? Yeah, let's let's just so basic. Let, let's just revive everything. Oh, we're getting our good place back. So we have to help these new people, but most of the time we'll just get to live together like a normal couple. We can chill out and that's paradise. Corn dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've learned a lot from each other. Oh god, Janet. Hi, I'm Daphne. Help, dude. Actually, it would go a lot faster. Thanks, Derek. No oh. problem. Don't worry, this is purely professional, okay? Now be a pal and hold my classy martini while I get We built a Michael suit. The boys down in R and D said it couldn't be done. So I made it out of them. That's Vicky and the Oh <laughs> taking you for a spin. You are disgusting. Wow. Disgusting uh Oh, Michael, it's going to be so amazing watching your four BFS look so sad. And that little trick, by the way, very useful. Have fun, Michael. Enjoy everything that is about to overwhelm Can we just you. disqualify Sean already? How basic. Oh. Here I go. Here we go again. I go here. And I'm gone. Oh, it's oh, yeah. just too scary. Oh, 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 no. Oh, this is it, though. The stage is 
set, the curtains are about to open, and we can't, you know, back out with the audience in their seats and whatnot, if that's a good analogy for it, but... Honestly, I feel like this is a good... Like, it seems like we're already setting things up for season um, four. Because this is going to be a very um, uh, interesting road that we're going to be going on. And, um, yeah, I, I really like this idea that, like, we have Sean and Michael just competing and, and proving that this test is no fluke and um or, or the four humans were no fluke should i say and uh, now we've got a scenario um where both sean and michael's involvement will be evaluated and, and yeah it's gonna be very very interesting to see how things do fold out i really like this idea it's a, a very very interesting idea that i'm sure will have its moments of tension but it will also be a very, very, um, it will also be, a, well, a game-changing, um, test, because this is, um, going to be one that, if proven successful, will have to have the system re-evaluated and whatnot, and, uh, not just that, though, but it's just a fun idea overall. So, overall, I'm really liking the prospect of this idea as we... Um, I, like, this is it. You assume with everything that has been planned, I don't think they're going to be able to verify this test in one episode. So you think this is going to be a season four thing and it will be very, very interesting, especially since, you know, you're going to have the final season replicate in a sense the first season where you have this fake good place but rather than it being a um secret torture facility i guess um it is more so of an experiment to see if people removed from the um impacts of negativity in the world to see if they can become better people so it will be very interesting to see what does happen and um if if michael can um come out on top if he can really rub it in sean's face and uh to see what will happen from there on but um yeah i just really um thought that this was a great uh, episode and uh it was really great good in terms of setting things up and um yeah just just seeing where we go from here with the knowledge that uh the complications of earth have really um like the good place has been behind with the times with the um evolution of earth and how humanity has progressed and uh this is it with um the judge um when when jen went to earth um you saw how shocked she was about oh she, maybe maybe i we've been looking at things in a blind angle because we're judging people before we even get to know them um because of the fact that, and this is it she's not a human she can't say that uh, or, or no one who is not human they can't really say that um life is um you know, brush it off, shrug it off, or whatever. Um, they they don't know the complications of of humanity. And um, when we, we saw when Jen went to Earth, she really got a dose of of um how complicated human life can be. So having this compromise on um, okay, let's test this again. Remove the restrictions. See how people fare. It's a really good. Um, it's a really good idea in terms of proving this theory that people can become better with the restraints removed. Um, it, it it's a really good theory to see if uh, people can evolve. If people are deserving of a chance in a good place, and if they do not improve, I I'd say send them to the bad place. Um. Yeah, see, this is a really, really interesting idea. Like, I really love how Michael and Sean have to reluctantly form this um, partnership, all whilst Sean is still going to be throwing shade at Michael, of course. But they have to work together <clears throat> in terms of making sure that this is a, a, a plan that can either go... It, it can go 50-50. Either um, Chidi's theory is right, 
or it may have been a fluke. So, and this is the good thing about Chidi. Um, he brought up a really good point, and and Jason did as well. Like Jason's analogy was um like um to his experience um in terms of um proving uh to um the judge that you know she doesn't really have an idea with his friend uh, big noodle i think he was called yeah jason really hit the nail on the head i really love the idea though everyone lost faith as soon as jason decided to speak up um but jason you know he makes a really really good point people uh human life is so so complicated and you know you're arguing this with someone of a higher power someone who um like there is an unfair scale of judgment um funnily enough we're talking about the judge uh but there is an unfair scale because humans are quite limited and um we do not have this knowledge of the good place and um um of, of, this is it though like if you're gonna like have this crisis on okay which is the best um tomato to buy uh for example without jeopardizing my chance in the good place if you have this crisis then you could be in a position where you could be in like chidi for example making that indecisiveness on and making that those worries on did i did i buy the least harmful product or or whatnot and um we know that Chidi's indecisiveness um, was a big hindrance for, for him, especially when it c comes to getting into the good place. So this is it. It's complicated. And with the judge experiencing um, life on Earth, um, she's having this understanding about how, um, you know, how the human mind and, and how humanity, it, it, it can be a, a big mess compared to your celestial beings and whatnot. Like they are, they, they are being fed on the silver platter, essentially. And there is that level of arrogance because of the fact that they think that humanity needs to brush it off. So it's really, really um interesting to see Chidi, to see Jason prove to the judge that she needs to look at things at a new perspective and uh with those um with those ideas combined it's um potentially given humanity a chance for the good place now that we've got this new uh good place neighborhood which i'm glad that it's seemingly going to incorporate what we you know started off with why 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 um go otherwise than perfect right so yeah um but yeah, I really, really like this idea. And I gotta say, I feel like Chidi was on his, like, I'm just thinking back to Jeremy Berenby where he was just broken, where he was just completely done. And um, I feel like this is as close as it will get with him um, seeing the time live and him just, uh, not just that though, but just analyzing um, the IHOP and um, just being so, so done with everything. I feel like, I don't know, I was just reminding myself of Jeremy Beremy and uh, how broken he was. And I feel like this came a close second in terms of um, him just being broken again, especially with the time knife and how Michael's just casually saying, yeah, we've seen it before. Yeah. And, and Chidi's like... <laughs> Oh man, I really feel like Chidi has evolved so much this season, like not just with um, how um, hilarious his story has been and, and how, I guess, in depth it's been as well, but also with him and Eleanor as well. So I'm really liking Chidi's progress as well as Jason's as well. Like Jason has really shone in some moments in this episode, uh, in this season, should I say, but this episode was really great, not just with him proving to the judge that you can't really um, judge people um before like if you don't know them especially with how complicated life can be but also his um like how he was hoping for the second chance with janet as well like you saw him how innocently and how nervous he was uh, approaching janet about let's try again and not just that though but with derek's um re-emergence um it's like the shoes on the other foot with the whole um triangle with janet tahani and jason um now he gets to experience uh, i guess life in, on on janet's end when she was a bit um a, a, in a bit of a uh 
worrying state with the fact that she saw uh, Tahani and Jason and with those memories of course um she uh, Jason now know now knows how it feels I guess in a, in a sad sense because of the fact that Derek is trying to I don't know in some sense assert his domination so yeah uh, but I do like the idea that he has evolved in the same manner that uh, Janet has because we know that Janet has been evolving on a social level as well um and there is that still um there is those mannerisms that um charm that makes Janet Janet um despite the reboot and it's the same with Derek there's still that element that makes Derek Derek um despite the fact that he's he's more I don't know sophisticated more um intellectual but he's still got his Derekisms I guess so yeah um but yeah overall I thought this was a pretty pretty uh great episode that might set things up for season four because like I said I don't think this test can be fully concluded within one episode. Um, I think you've got to get your complications. We've got to get to know these four humans because, of course, they're not going to be on the same. Um, they're not going to be on the like same focus as uh, the four humans that we know and love. Um, but we got to get to know them and see if they can evolve and whatnot. So yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, this was a pretty, pretty great episode and uh, I'm excited to see where things go um, with the final episode of, of season three. So yeah, but yeah, until then, I will see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, you can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles.